Mr. Travis. It had better be a goddamn emergency. You know this is my... I'd be honored, Mr. T. God bless you. Let's get it together, bitches. That was the man. It's not every day I get to kill the legend. You are now entering the Dexter Industries Research Facility, where the top minds of science and technology strive to make the impossible possible. Dexter Industries, where the magic happens. Right as rain.
the deal with Dr. Green and the test pigs? I mean, he clearly enjoys watching them get blown up. No, oh, he's a pig hater, all right. Supposedly, there was this incident back in the early 70s. Nasty business. The way I hear it, Dr. Green, he's 12 years old, right? Growing up on a farm in Nebraska. One night, some deranged lunatic breaks into the house while his parents are out of town. Yeah, the whole thing's just straight out of a horror flick. The guy knocks the babysitter into a coma and throws Dr. Green and his kid sister into the swine hold so he can pillage the house or whatever. Pigs are hungry, aggressive. Those huge rural hogs, you know? All fangs and muscles. When one charges his sister, Dr. Green manages to kill it, you know, like kill the thing with a rake. But then it collapses on top of him and it pins him down, you know? The girl's too small to pull him free. So they spend two days down there. And when the cops finally find him, his foot needs to be amputated. Yeah. Jesus, are, are you kidding me? I mean, oh, I can't believe I'm going to say this about Dr. Green, but poor guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's still there. I am getting closer. This is the black heart of Dexter Industries. Part of me dreads what I might find down here. Human experiments. Children as weapons. All the more reason to pull the plug. I will find Victoria and destroy all data that Dexter's researchers might have uncovered. This ends here. I consider myself a pretty mellow guy, but that Dr. Green, I could just strangle that piece of shit. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. slipped off or if, if he was pushed. If foul play wasn't involved, then... Uh... It's supposed to be right below our feet. We're talking about it in the shower. I'm surprised beyond words. We're calling it the Omega facility. Huh. Come on. The Omega facility? Are you kidding? That sounds like an airport novel. Yeah, well, that's what they said. When the body of a senior CIA analyst is pulled from the Boston Harbor, and freelance reporter Josh Rogan, his own demons always with him, stumbles upon a secret file that exposes the shadowy government branch known only as the Omega. Would you shut up? Coming to the fight later? Nah, my kid's got some band recital thing. But who are you gonna bet on tonight? Sanchez, man. I always go for the underdog. Sanchez and underdog? There's an odd mix of words. I used to be a Patriot, man, but let's face it. He's past his prime. I got a feeling our boy Sanchez is gonna eat him for breakfast.
What are you doing? Out into the silo now. Huh. Really? You, uh, ask him what's going on down there? I, I did ask, but they made him sign a phone book's worth of legal papers, and he's not telling me anything. Unbelievable. You know what? I'm gonna sneak in there. <laughs> he's just behind the door. I don't care if it's childish. I mean, I wanna see. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, okay? You know what's happening down in the cellar? No idea. I heard it was something big. To turn everything right around. What? What did you say? I said it's something to me. <laughs> yes. Looks like we'll still have time to see Sanchez put another one in a coffin. <laughs> Can't hear you. Water in my ears. What I'm saying to you is we can still make the fight. Oh, the fight. Yeah, it's gonna be bloody, I tell you. What's that you say? Never mind. Oh my god, I... <laughs> Ask anyone on staff, who is our main bro? Huh? Who is it? Carl. Yeah, you Carl. That's right. Yeah, we wouldn't forget about you. Come on! <laughs> oh, jeez, you guys. I don't know what to say. All right, all right. Don't go all misty-eyed on us, okay? All right, yeah, well, uh, we got you a little something to offer. Well, take that fizzy stuff, you know, or drink some, you know. You are going to regret missing this party. Yes, everyone is here. Get your butt over here. You still have time. You will make it. Come on. Oh, you are such a pussy. Come on. Please. Oh, my God. It means so much to me. Please, please come. Ha, I knew it. Okay, good. I will see you soon. Fuck up. Okay. I love you. Bye. Surprise, asshole! Yo, dog. Happy birthday, Carl. You fucking old fart. Oh, man. Oh, you guys. Oh, man. How you good now? Yeah, yeah. Get him out. Hey, hey. Come over here. I got a 20 for you, baby. Hey, sailor. You want to come over here? Hey, ass, baby. Woo! Woo! Look at those hips. I want to see more Benjamins, baby. Yeah, 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 let's see your ass. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. You like what you see, honey? Love you, baby. Bury me. My wife won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go, girl. Go. Yeah, swing up. Yeah. <laughs> See that? Oh, that was vicious! Oh man, this has been the shittiest fucking month, but tonight is gonna be the best day of my life. Sanchez will fucking rock the house, I'm sure of it. I just fucking know it. Can you feel it? Yeah! Oh yeah, I know what you mean. It's gonna be killer. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> hey, do you know what happened to Great Balls of Fire? Woo! This guy kicked the crap out of a bunch of guys.
what Dr. Valentine said earlier? Look, don't let it bother you. The guy can be a bit harsh, but hey, that's geniuses for you. They tend to lack a few social skills. Too bad he's so obsessed with weaponry. I mean, a brilliant guy like that? Imagine if he dedicated himself to curing cancer or something. I know, I know, but like father, like son, I suppose. His old man was an army general. Yeah, first assault line in Normandy, Medal of Honor, special advisor to the White House, the whole shebang. And the way I hear it, the guy was a total gun nut. When other boys got a car for their 16th birthday, young Dr. Valentine got an RPG launcher. <laughs> yeah. His only other obsession is finding a cure for his own baldness. Huh. He's got range. You gotta give him that. talking to those eggheads for a long time. I've never seen Dr. Ashford so fired up. Something's going on, that's for sure. Hey, so uh, I'll see you at the fight? Great, great, yeah. Yeah, sure, later. The bridge is up. You can move the cargo. Got it. I'm already on top of it. No need to worry. That's right. All right. All right. Bye. Hey, don't let it bother you, okay? The guy just barged in. Goddamn mountain. What's I supposed to do? Take a swing at him? Hey, nobody expects you to stand up to Sanchez. Least of all, Dr. Ashford. After all, he practically created him. How do you think Sanchez became Mr. Dexter's bodyguard? They've been experimenting on that poor bastard down here since he was a child. Practically bought him from an orphanage in Tijuana. Yeah, those crazy muscles of his? Let's just say he didn't get them by doing push-ups. Why was I not informed? Hey, my apologies, sir, but the orders came straight from Mr. Dexter. That Sanchez character? 
He just barged in and took off with the girl. Said the lab might be compromising. S something about Mr. Dexter's son getting kidnapped? I don't know. Ridiculous. This is just an excuse to hawk her like a piece of merchandise. Easy money. That's all Blake Dexter cares about. Fifteen years of bioengineering, and I have never seen test results like hers. Not even close. Sir, forgive me, sir, but I have no idea what never you're you talking lie. about. You're dismissed. Sorensen, move ahead with the scheduled tests. And get me the board of directors. We'll see about this. Telling you, management is going too far. And drifters and crazies? Okay, that's one thing. We're talking about a young girl here. This is her. Yeah, okay. And you go ahead and tell that to Dr. Ashford. Go ahead, tell him. My guess is you won't even reach the front gate. Look, we can't just stand by while they experiment on children. <sighs> what do you think this is, huh? A lollipop factory? Because last time I checked, the sign on the door read, Secret, illegal, bioengineering lab. You knew what you were signing up for, so suck it up! Remember to adjust the serum. The isotope level is still way too high. Hey, what's happening? Have you adjusted the serum dosage? These test subjects are no good to me dead. Oh, don't give me that blank look. I just manned the computer station. Here, let me show you how it's done. open. I don't know, a freak accident by the look of it. Out.
by overwork of the Mexican factions. It's feeble by comparison. They are groping in the dark. I must admit, I find it hard to maintain a scientific discipline. 